What is going on, crafters? Honest Abe checking in here at Lincoln Land, just doing a little fishing from our new pier that we got. Look at there, we got a piece of leather right off the bat. All right, well, let's put these guys away real quick. And in our last episode, I just kind of showed you what uh, the boys and I did over uh, the weekend. And so this is just going to be one of our train stops for Lincoln Land on the Lincoln Expressway. And so this is going to be a little village stop. And then you got Izzy's house over there that he built. And you got Joe's house and Nathaniel's house up on the hill. We're going to add some more houses in throughout here. And of course, we've done some work on the landscaping around here, making little sand dunes coming up, and our pathway, and I built this tree. It's not fully finished yet. I've been placing pieces here and there as I see fit, and a couple benches and whatnot. We got some bushes and everything around. Well, let's go ahead and get into our episode today. So, how are you guys doing? Leave a comment. Let me know how things are going. And uh, hope you guys are having a good march. But uh, you can see our castle project still. I'm working on all that stuff in our moat. But today what we're going to do is we are going to work on our stable. And get our stable ready for use. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. So we're going to need... Uh, some mossy stone, we're going to need uh, some uh, dark oak wood, we're going to need some birch planks, uh, and we're going to need some dark oak fences. All right, so let's that should be good now. Yeah, we'll add some dark oak slabs. So let's go ahead and get started here. So, uh, if you're wondering, the dimensions here are uh, 24 by 24. And uh, so it's going to be a, a decent sized stable. You know, you got to have your horses uh, have plenty of space. And then I'm going to do some landscaping work in the back here and kind of make the little pasture out back. And, and we're going to have a, uh, an entrance to the mine, which is over here. Uh, I'm going to put a little, uh, little uh, outdoor horse, um, uh, I guess, uh, blacksmith in the back here and then we got our, our mind that's gonna be right here but yeah let's go ahead and get rolling in today's episode so we're gonna use our mossy stone and we're going to just go ahead and lay it out here uh, like this and I think it's going to be uh, pretty good but uh, oh, in between these two uh, gravel pieces is 10 that's just a marker for for myself just so I know where to uh, start the the next section of the stable so that was that was just there for just a marking for me all right so this is gonna come out five here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our oak fence or, or dark oak fence out six like that all right so that's kind of the way we're getting started here all right so one two three four five and I'll go ahead and pick up my gravel since I've been using it for different things. All right, but uh, yeah, this is just, I, I, I saw a couple ideas of stables uh, online and uh, I just, I, I like I liked this design. So I decided, well, hey, you know what? I will go ahead and try this design just with some few, few editing options uh, that, uh, that's a mistake right there. Let's go ahead and fix that. But uh, just some few editing. What we're going to do is we're going to put some coarse dirt around. And uh, I think the coarse dirt is, is one of the coolest blocks. You know, you don't have grass growing on it. But I think that would be fitting for a stable. Is using uh, the coarse uh, dirt as, as your flooring. And we're also going to be putting in uh, some redstone gates. So I'm planning on having about uh, five or so uh, stalls. Uh, in here we're just going to kind of see how it measures out but uh, yeah so there we go all right let's go ahead and get uh, the oak fence down on this side three four five and six all right and then you have a two gate entrance which is what you need for 
riding a horse so always remember that riding a horse you can't get through a single uh, area unless you're of course jumping but uh, alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our dark oak wood and we're gonna go up from this block here four one two three four we're gonna do that same thing here one two three four all right we're gonna come back to our back corner here and do the same thing one two three four we're gonna come over five so that's one two three four five we're gonna set one right there and go up so that would be two three four and that would be five of course our wolf is going to kill our sheep here so not gonna miss the opportunity to <laughs> get the get the meat and the wool all right so we're gonna do that on the other side here uh real quick and we'll, all right so that's two three four five all right i'll come back over here two three four five all right and then we're going to set one here and we're going to come over here and do the same thing so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom and that should line up like that actually no i'm sorry let's recap that one two three four five six seven eight nine oh yeah that's right i did set it at 11 i forgot about that i i did change that up all right so we're gonna go ahead and break this block real quick all right because that will allow us to get rolling all right so one of the things i want to talk about today is saint patrick's day saint patrick's day is coming up and i hope you guys are uh, gonna plan on wearing your green for that but yeah that was uh that's my uh, my dad's birthday is uh always around saint saint patrick's day so uh saint patrick's day is is coming up it is on saturday and then my dad's birthday is always after that um but uh yeah i just wonder what you guys plans were for saint patrick's day and what you guys have planned and going on so uh let me know you can always leave a comment uh, you know i was up in uh i was up in chicago uh one year for saint patrick's day and they dyed their uh, the river up there uh green and i thought that was one of the coolest things i had ever seen and i don't know let me know uh what what you guys do in your area um if uh if you guys do any spe thing special for for uh saint patrick's day you guys you know dye your dye your hair green do you uh does the city you do do something special uh for that but yeah, let me know uh, what you guys do uh, for St. Patrick's Day, and I will let you guys know what some of the things that we do. We don't really do a whole lot here in East Tennessee. It's just more of what uh, what individual people do. But all right, so let's go ahead and go three, four, five around there. All right. need to get better feather falling on my boots i got i think feather falling one right now on my boots but yes this is kind of the general setup for our stable so this is what we're going to do and actually uh i might come back in and and take these stone and actually take all these all the way down to uh, the ground but uh yeah i'm not sure yet but what we'll go ahead and do is we will got a couple minutes before we can sleep so uh, in the back here, uh, we're going to just fill these in with, if I don't make any mistakes, I'll get that here in a minute. So We're going to fill these in with our birch planks in the back, and I might come in here and add some windows or something um, to it, but this is the general idea. So. Alright. 
be able to go to sleep now and that way we can avoid any uh, creeper issues uh, for the evening <laughs> but yeah so the 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 birch plates are going to um, go here and kind of make an encasing for the backside of of our stable uh, project but, uh, but yeah all right so here we go So St. Patrick's Day, you know, I, I've uh, I've always enjoyed St. Patrick's Day, and I don't know if uh, you guys do the whole like uh, pinching thing or whatnot uh, at your schools with people, or you know, making sure everybody wears green, you know, dressing up as a leprechaun or or what you guys do, or but uh, you know, one of the things that I always enjoyed um, about St. Patrick's Day um, was. Uh, the food and you know just I just I really really enjoyed uh, the food for St. Patrick's Day you know doing uh, different types of you know like sausage sauerkraut or whatnot but uh, one of my favorite foods is a pierogi and I don't know it's a Polish dish for those of you who aren't familiar with what a pierogi is and uh, it is basically a um, a pasta um, and it is filled with different things some people put meat some people put mashed potatoes um, and you put different like you know herbs and spices and it, you stuff the pierogi with your mashed potatoes or your meat stuff like that and and then you can you fry it and it is really 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 good and so if you uh, if you ever see them uh, in in the store they, they sell them in the frozen food section you can buy them obviously pre-made and stuff like that uh, but they are delicious uh, so I would I would definitely uh, uh, make that suggestion out to anybody to try a pierogi but I you know I'm a big fan of uh, sausage and sauerkraut and, and stuff like that Mel and I we, uh, we we make sausage and sauerkraut a lot we enjoy it immensely um, but yeah, that's uh, that, that's one of my favorite uh, St. Patrick's Day dishes. So let me know what uh, what what one of your uh, favorite dishes is for for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then of course, you know, a lot of people they'll they'll drink beer and stuff like that, and uh, drink a Guinness or whatever for St. Patrick's Day and celebrate uh, celebrate uh, the Irish that they have on. I actually do have a little bit of Irish in me, and so. Uh, enjoy uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day and partaking in uh, in in a Guinness every now and again. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but uh, let me know what the what one of your favorite dishes is for um, for St. Patrick's Day and uh, leave a comment and I'll uh, definitely get back to you guys. All right, so this is what we've got so far. All right, and let me uh, let me get my gravel back out. We'll be done with the birch for now, and let us let's get up here. All right, and we're going to put that there, and then we are going to go like this. So we're going to take our slabs and we're going to run them across here. And then you'll have some extra storage space down here on this section. But this will be kind of like the front entrance of your stable. And uh, you will, you know, could bring your horse in and, you know, check it in to the, to the castle or the stable keeper. And he'll take, take care of your, your horse for you. All right, there we go. If I can get that in there. And... like so All right. and then we're going to have a, a roof that goes up from there and so yeah but I hope you guys are doing well I'm kind of reach I'm trying to keep my, my videos at, at 15 minutes and I know it's going to go uh, a, a little bit longer today uh, but uh, I just kind of wanted to give you guys uh, a look at how I was gonna set up the stable area and 
I will come back and finish it on another episode. So, all right. So that's kind of the idea of of the stable. So, and then I'm we're gonna put a kind of a fence um, gate so you come in. I'll have a couple signs on it that says. You know, the honest stable or Lincoln Land stable or whatever, whatever we decide. So that's something that you guys can decide for me. What uh, what do we want to call our stable? Do we want to call it the Lincoln Land stable or do we want to come up with another name uh, for the stable? Definitely would be much appreciated. All right. But I think that is about it for today. So I hope you guys have a great, uh, great day. And this is Honest Abe signing off from Lincoln Land.